All right, so hello everybody. So today for this video, I'm just gonna show you guys how to create a database and a table using MySQL. And finally, how to display that table onto Tableau. So first things first, what we're gonna do is we're going to want to install exam. So we're gonna use, we're just gonna Google exam and click the first website that comes up. And over here, we'll see a bunch of options. Um, Choose whichever one uh, based on what computer you have or what type. So I have Windows. Okay, so we're gonna set up exam and we're just gonna click next. Yes, just the default and we're gonna, they're gonna select a folder. This is automatically going to create a folder in your computer. So we're just gonna click next, language in English. Yes, yes. You don't need to worry about that. Just let it install into your computer. And this might take a while. All right, so now that we're done installing, it took a little while, but it was, it was okay. So we're just gonna click finish and we're just gonna go on to exam, the control panel and just run it. Right, so here we see that we have two, we'll just exit one of these. Uh, so we're just gonna click on Apache and, sorry, we're just gonna click start and we see that it's running and we're gonna start MySQL as well. And to see that it's running, to so go onto a new browser and we're gonna type in localhost and just click enter. And we'll see we've come to this page. And if you see this page, that means you have successfully installed exam on the server. This means that it's working on your computer and you can use it now. So now we're just gonna go on to PHP My Admin. I'll show you guys how to create a database from there. All right, so um, what we're gonna do is since we're using SQL, we're going to click on SQL. And that's fine. And we're just going to create a database, right? So create a database. And let's call this database e-commerce. Yeah. And that's our first command. And we're just going to run go. And here we see that we've created a new database over here. So if we just click on that database, uh, we can we see that there is currently no tables. Um, so what we can do to create a table. So um, to make it easier, it's always best to write up your code in a notepad. So um, I have this notepad over here. Uh, so the following code you would have to write into MySQL to create a table is simply create table and write up your table name. So in this case, let's call it customer. And we're gonna put two brackets over here, put in a semicolon. And we're just gonna start writing up whatever we wanna put into the columns of our table. So for one, I know I would want to know the name of the customer. So I'm just going to type in name and we'll give it um, a character 10, right? So up to 10 words of that name can be put in. And then I can put an age, we'll write that up as character two, uh, but we can put in email, make that character 20. All right, so uh, just make it really simple. I'm just going to copy and paste that into the SQL. Click run and we've seen that our table has it's been successfully made. Okay, so now that if now that we want to actually start creating rows in our table and start putting in data, we can write up the following command: insert into, and this is basically like putting in whatever we want into our table. So we're going to write insert into customer, and put up our brackets, and now we can just write whatever we had before in our rows to let it know what we want to insert into. And we're gonna write over here values as well. 
So in values, we're going to start putting in what we want to put in into these variables over here. So for name, let's say we put in Jamie. Don't forget your commas. And for age, let's say we put in 12. Um, and for email address, let's say we say it's jamie at uh, hotmail.com. Okay. So we're just going to copy and paste into it and just let it and just press go. So, um, yeah, now that we've inserted into to see if it actually did run, we can write select. Uh, sorry, select. And again, select star from our table customer. Okay. Click go. And we've seen that we've successfully added in um, a row into our table. Okay, so we can then go to e-commerce and click SQL again. And we can do the same thing, the same commands, right? You can copy and paste it. So leave that as is because we want to insert into these variables and we can just change around. We can write Bob, um, let's say he's like 34, bob at hotmail.com and just click go. Okay, so if we go to commerce, select that from customer, so we see that's been added in successfully. Right, so that's that. Um, now, what we can do is we can go on to privileges. Now, to actually showcase this table onto Tableau, we have to do the following. We're going to go on to privileges, and we're going to add in a new user account. So for here, uh, we're just going to write give it any username let's say admin, uh, we're gonna make this a local host. And for your password, let's just say we write in admin as well. We type it here. It's fine if it's, if it's extremely weak, you can, it's up to you, whatever password you want. And we're just going to check all of our global privileges. Obviously you can edit which ones you want, which ones you don't want based on what you need. Um, so I'm just going to choose all for now. And we're going to click go. Okay. So yeah, now we've added in a new user. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to show it on Tableau. Okay. So before moving on to Tableau, the one thing you want to make sure you install is a connector to MariaDB. I will link this website down below, but um, for now, I'm just going to choose this one because my computer is a 64. So I'm going to install that down. Click on next, accept the terms. Yes, yes, yes. Um, install, okay, we'll do the typical one and we're just going to click install. Yes, allow it to make changes and finish. All right, perfect. Um, again, I will link this below so you don't have to worry about finding and typing it up on your own. So, um, okay, so um, so for Tableau, what we're gonna do is we are going to just write in Tableau desktop download. And uh, to get your free trial, you just type in your business email, which I had just done right now, and it's currently downloading. And yeah, let's see it open. All right, so 14 day trial begins today. So what we're gonna do to now is connect our server, which we selected as MariaDB. So if you go to more, um, and you search for MariaDB, you can easily find it here as well, but in case it's not there for you, 
click on MariaDB over here. Um, so it's going to ask for your database. And our database here was localhost. Our username was admin and password was also admin. Okay. Oh, wait, sorry. Our server was localhost. And if you remember the database that we made was called e-commerce um, admin and our password was admin as well. So now it's executing the query. So here you see that um, our table is here as well from e-commerce and our values that we inputted. So if you click update now, here we see that we have successfully added in the values that we put in before into MySQL. So that's how you connect it um, from MySQL to uh, Tableau to showcase your database and your table. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. And thank you for watching. All right, take care. Bye.